trying to make a thesis I don't need a thesis right now I just need to work on it make an outline I just chose the most difficult topic ever like it's dismantling patriarchy it's dismantling colonialism I have all good grades for this class. Because I really like this class. But I'm not good at it. I feel like I'm going too far. It's been a couple of hours since I came back home. Um, I'm just gonna now work on my essay again. Um, yeah, and I'll probably try to focus on the essay over the weekend and try to finish most of it over the weekend and just finalize everything by Tuesday. And I'll probably work really hard on my painting on through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's my plan. Um, we'll see how that goes. For now, I'll just do my study setup, which I don't usually do when I study, but I feel like I've been lacking all sorts of energy, so I'm just gonna make my study experience a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so that I can enjoy and romanticize the moment. Yeah. glass of water, my tea, and my headscarf because my hair is getting in the way.
kind of changed the setup. <clears throat> I have my lunch and my main fuel. I am 5% done with my essay. been here since 8.30 in the morning. This is gross. There's literally no one here in the kitchen. The calf. I didn't film anything today because I just wasn't feeling it. I, um... was sort of having a bad day but not really I don't know I was feeling I wasn't feeling great after I have dinner more like leftover salad I'm gonna go and expose my screen and head home came here and chatted with you guys um i filmed this video october like early october or mid october and i finished editing this video towards the end of october and i didn't do a voiceover because i didn't know what to talk about i didn't have my thoughts fleshed out properly and as i'm coming back in here and after like a month later i think i know how i feel about about art or like video making in general as a content creator i think i found myself i just had the bad time seeing my views plummet um and see the engagement plummet um i think i had a hard time just accepting that and i i never really intended to start my channel for the views or for the comments or for the likes but as i got more views and i got as i got more attention i was like wait why am i caring so much about my videos right now this is so stupid and then i took myself away from that situation and then i came back thinking i wouldn't be um harmed by the whole idea of not getting enough views and being bummed out about it i thought i would be fine but again i had trouble getting back into video making because i was still in that same mindset um and i didn't like the art that i was making especially in this video um this painting i'm not the most proudest about but i i still want to share this video because not everything i make is gonna be perfect and i kind of want to let that put that out there um I'm in art school, I'm still learning, mistakes are made, some things are right for me, some things are not, and yeah, I just wanted to put that out there and be honest about how there seems to be a rose-tinted um, glass or like vision of, of my self that I want to portray on the internet. But I realized that that's not why I started YouTube. I wanted to start YouTube to start conversations, reflect on my own piece of works. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. 
and I hope this might be helpful for someone who's interested in going to art school or who's interested in learning more arts or just starting arts as their own hobby. You know, sometimes things work out, sometimes things don't. You, do, you shouldn't be embarrassed about it. Um, the internet is a scary place because everything looks perfect, but it's not. It's not. And I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, I said I had a pretty bad day to this dude on the coffee shop and he gave me free coffee. Best day ever. Best day ever. Yeah, it's a I'm going to, to class. This angle is very bad. <laughs> 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 